Hey y'all, welcome back to another one. Today we'll be talking about current fur prices from the most recent fur harvesters auction on July 19th to the 23rd. This is the second and final auction for fur harvesters of the 2021 season. These prices give us insight into the possible fur prices of the 2021 to 2022 trapping season as well. It is good to note that this auction was not a traditional auction. All furs were photographed and videoed and then offered online. It is also good to note that this information was sourced from a recent auction at the auction house and not from local buyers. So depending on your area, these prices could be higher or they could be lower. But this should act as a good basis point for pricing. With that all said, let's get started. Also, as a side note, remember if you do sell at auction houses, you do have shipping costs and commissions to deal with, let alone the waiting time for your fur to sell could be months to over a year if you choose to go with an auction house. First off, we will start with beavers. There was very low interest in beaver for this auction, in which 80,609 beaver were offered. 23% of the first section eastern beavers sold at an average of $11.86 and 20% of the third section beavers sold for an average of $4. The top price for a beaver was $46. And the caster from the beavers, which is actually more important than the fur for selling wise, the caster and west select sold at $120 per pound Grade 1 sold at $110 per pound, Grade 2 sold at $100 a pound, and Grade 3 sold at $90 a pound. So the difference in the grades is how much caster is actually in the cast rooms. So the more full that they are, the better price that you get for them. Next off, we do have mink. In this auction, 5,675 mink were offered, in which 100% were sold. Males sold at an average of $6.55, and females sold at an average of $3.49, with the top price for mink being $13. It is good to see mink moving granted at lower prices, but it does show a market is still there for them, and that wild mink is still an option. Next off, we do have otters, of which 4,812 were offered. 60% sold at an average of $23.35, with the top being $62. The very large offering of western lynx sold better than expected, with good interest and competition for the very top goods, as well as sell selling numbers of bee-colored bellies. Eastern Canadian lynx did very well once again also. 12,886 lynx were offered in total. Canadian sold at an average of $59.77. Central sold at an average of $35.64. And Western sold at an average of $353 and 40 cents. The highest western lynx sold at a whopping $1,200. With that high price, do not expect that all the time. That is very, very rare. Next off is a very common fur, which is muskrats. Muskrats advance over good levels achieved in April, with the exception of very few lots. 105 1,798 rats were offered and 99% were sold at an average of $5.07. The highest muskrat went for $7.50. This is great news and shows a strong, strong market at this time for them. For the new normal that we are having in the fur trade, these are decent prices with good averages overall. Next off, we do have Red Fox, which 8140 were offered, with the prices ranging from $4.76 for a central fox 
to $14.73 for an Eastern. The highest price for a Red Fox was $39. These are pretty rough for the pricing, but in general, that's kind of what Foxes are at right now. Next off, we have another common one, which is Coyotes. All coyotes suitable for the trim trade sold very well with strong prices and clearances. The middle grades of eastern coyotes and centrals were difficult to move, however. Italy and China were the main takers in the better coyotes. 42,848 coyotes were offered. 100% of the western heavy coyotes were sold at $97.91 average. 73% of the Western semi heavies were sold at $52.57. 61% of the Eastern coyotes were sold at $26.81. And 81% of Central coyotes sold at $10.58. The highest price was for a Western heavy at $138. Coyotes generally show a really good strength in the marketplace, though prices this year are lower than expected as usual. Compared to prior years, we were getting very good prices for the coyotes. Next, we have another very common item. One of the main three I would say is usually muskrats, coyotes, and raccoons. This one being raccoons. There were a total of 70,992 raccoons that were offered in July. And in this auction, there's very limited interest, so no prices were even given. Hopefully they are able to do some private buyers after the auction, which they generally do the weeks following. We do have the numbers from their April auction. And for the April auction, the ones that were offered were 102,706, and 13% of them sold with an average of $8.37, and the top being $24. Raccoons, being one of the main staples for most trappers over the last couple of years, even though with very hard prices on them, it's something that's very easy for trappers to do. This here is showing very rough interest. Might not be worth going after besides just for general maintenance. On the next note, we do have possums, which 6,743 were offered. And these also had very limited interest and had no prices at this time. This means the market is quite rough and pursuing other options this year for these types of furs like local buyers would be the best as auction houses have yet to sell last year's surplus and minimal interest will keep this surplus for a while until perhaps a new market starts. Other notable prices include a $2.13 average for squirrels, around $30 average for sable, $23.65 for fisher, $13.28 for Cray Fox, $1.33 for Ermin, $19.41 for Badger, $4.40 for Skunks, $87.60 for Black Bears, and $296 for Wolverine. And these were all averages. An interesting auction item was the timber wolf, however. 623 wolves were offered. 63% of the Arctic wolves sold at $229. 97% of the Eastern wolves sold at $108.60. 100% of black wolves sold at $319.77. 96% of the Western Wolves sold at $156.55. The highest price for Wolves overall was $860. These continued to be one of the main profit points for most trappers. 
This year will be another one of volatility with the pandemic still affecting the world. It still affects the auction houses and buyers as well. Take your time this year and look around for other options like local buyers, taxidermists, or self-use. Don't forget with these low prices, you are able to experiment with the pelts and try to make something out of them, either to sell or to keep, and not feel as bad if you do mess something up. Personally, we will be either looking to sell locally or we'll be trying to make something of them to keep for ourselves or to sell off. Also, if you are looking for self-use options, feel free to look back in our videos and you can see how to self-tan. If you would like to learn that, that is quite an easy way and I highly recommend it as it's a really good way to cut down on the tanning prices and the time. And for a little effort, you are able to get a lot more out of your fur if you do decide to do it that way. Let us know what you are thinking about doing this year or prices in your particular area. We would love to hear more about them. That about does it for this episode of Outdoor Experiences. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section as well and we will respond to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.